I'm Dr. Randolph Chitwood. I practice in North Carolina at the East Carolina Heart Institute, and I am the director of the Heart Institute as well as an experienced cardiovascular surgeon. I've been in practice since 1984, and I would expect I've performed over 10,000 heart operations, but more importantly, I developed a special interest in valve surgery and performed over 3,000 mitral valve operations, of which most of those are repairs. Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com. Thrilled to be here with Dr. Randolph Chitwood. Question, Dr. Chitwood, what attracted you to cardiac surgery? Well, you know, it's very interesting, Adam. I was interested in surgery as a medical student, but then I met a young cardiac surgeon who took me in the operating room and I saw heart operations. And from that moment on, I wanted to be a cardiac surgeon. Uh, I like the physiology. I like the, the patients, I like the, uh, all the technology associated with it, and also I like the outcomes. Those patients did well most of the time after heart surgery. So that's what really attracted me. So in addition to being a surgeon, I also understand that you were a heart patient, heart surgery patient, is that I, true? I have been a heart patient just like you. I had coronary bypass operation done 18 years ago. I have a strong family history of coronary artery disease and it's been very good to me. I've not had any other operations or interventions, and I assume I'm healthy today. How did you go about that whole process of finding the right surgeon for you? When I would tell others in selecting your surgeon, you want to do it not only just on personality, and I think that's extremely important, but you want to ask them about their results. You want to ask them how long they've been doing it. Uh, you want to make sure they have a, a supportive hospital. And today, it's all about outcomes. It's okay to ask somebody how their outcomes are. So Dr. Chitwood, I've heard you use the phrase before, informed consent versus informed understanding. Can you share for our patient community what you mean by that? Well, informed consent is basically telling a patient what the operation's about, uh, the expected outcome, the alternative therapy, the possible complications and to answer their questions. That's the legal form of informed consent. But is that informed understanding? In other words, does the patient really understand what you're talking about? And you must make sure that the patient understands the operation they're going to undergo, the possibilities of what the opportunities are and what the possible results will be. It's now been 18 years since your own heart surgery. What did that experience teach you as a surgeon? It taught me how to be a patient. And even though I've operated on many patients, my father was a doctor, my grandfather was a doctor, it's nothing like being a patient. Also, it made me start thinking about minimally invasive cardiac surgery. It was one of those epiphanies. I said, you know, I had a big incision. Isn't there another way we can do this? What is the most important piece of advice you would give a patient about to go through heart valve surgery? The advice I would give to most patients would be, in most circumstances, it's a safe operation. There's a team approach today. Everybody will be taking good care of it. There are possible complications. But let's go with, with our data which suggests you're a healthy individual, you should have a very low risk of mortality and morbidity. If someone does have a high risk of morbidity and mortality, then you have to be completely honest with them. You know, you've got to put them at comfort with the idea that you could have a complication, but you will be better in most circumstances after surgery.